Hey there, welcome to a new video. In this video we talk about utility and this is probably your very very and is probably your really best friend inside of Ableton. It's a sort of uh, audio Swiss knife and now let's see what it does. We have the input, we can uh, flip uh, the left or right signal. So let's try it on this sound which is uh, pretty mono. If I flip it, it becomes super wide because the phase of the left channel is flipped, is inversed. Then we have the same. Then. Now it sounds the same as the original because they are both flipped. So as a, it's a mono sound, it's the same as before, but just flipped. So to the ear is the same then but this is really important because uh, if you want to mix uh, your kick and bass together or if you want to flip the polarity of uh, a sound to prevent some phase issues you can turn them both and to the ear it doesn't change anything but uh, the way sounds especially low frequencies interact with each other completely change so then we have this channel mode, we have a stereo, then we have left, let's try it on this sound. So stereo sounds like this, left, if we pick up left or right on a stereo sound, it becomes mono. Why? Because um, it takes the left channel and it duplicates to the right one and vice versa. Then we have swap that swaps the left and right channel. So you don't need any fancy duplicating the sound, making mono, then panning to the to the other way. No, swap and it's done. Then we have the width. It does this, then we have mono. Then we have bass mono, which is really cool because we can monoize only the frequencies we want from 500s and below. If we set it uh, like this, 130, from 130 until uh, 0 Hz, it's mono. And we can also audition it. Then we have the gain, simple boost or cut. Then we have the balance. The balance, uh, it doesn't actually pan. It's not real panning, it sounds like panning, but uh, it simply balances the volume of the left and right signal. So if the gain changes the volume of both channels at the same time, balance uh, redistributes the volume between the two channels. Then we have the mute and the DC offset, which uh, suppresses some uh, DC offsets that can uh, happen. And this is it for the utility. It's a really great tool. Uh, you can use it for gain staging. You can use it for, for anything that needs some small adjustments, but uh, that are really crucial for the mix. So this is it. See you in the next video.